Welcome back to Port Macquarie Regional Stadium and here we are. We have arrived at grand final time. The first of five consecutive grand finals to be played here on our stadium field at Port Macquarie Regional Stadium for the New South Wales State Cup 2022 tournament for touch football. Budgie Smuggler Grand Final Day. All the action here, live, exclusive and free. We hope you've been enjoying the coverage. And this one in the men's 20s division between the Orange Thunder, who will get first use of the ball, and the side from the Hillshire, the Hills Hornets. Should be a ripping fixture, 30 minutes on the clock. No halftime break, and the sides will change ends when a try is scored. James Preston with you in commentary. And Orange to get first use of the ball here. Away they go through Banks. Heading out towards the sideline, now popped back to the middle here. So they'll settle things down a little bit with Blimka. Here is Blimka again. Pressuring the line now in this men's 20s division. A great rifling pass. It could be on here for them. What a dive for the corner that is. Orange secure the first try. Clark Kent turns into Superman. And in goes Sean Carpenter. One try to nil in the very first raid, producing a result. Beautiful piece of play there from Orange. So the Hornets with work to do. They need a hit back here. Have a little watch at this man, Jason Fahim. Or Jacob Fahim, should I say. He's been very dangerous throughout the tournament. Just shy of the seven metre mark there as they straighten things up. Fahim hopping in once more. Long bomb coming across the field. All oh, well tracked in defence there from the wing for Orange. And they put it back towards the middle now. Turned away once more. Charwood, last play here. Curl in at acting half. Not much doing. Likely to just die with possession here. For a little turnover. Probably lucky not to be penalised actually for that one too, throwing the ball away. So Orange on the charge here and up over halfway. Good metres so far in this set. Working at four, there is the try scorer, Carpenter. Middle of the ground now, still encroaching on that try line. Eventually they'll get the touch in here. Still another couple of plays up their sleeves. They'll work here for the strike dump. An attack on the last. Beautiful cutout pass again. Carpenter once more. Goes for the acrobatic finish. This time he's cartwheeling all the way to potential victory for Orange. It's a great start for the boys from the country. Two tries to nil. We haven't even had three minutes of play yet. So they're keeping track with the clock. So the Hornets on the charge once more, looking to try and get something on the board here. Orange with a big start so far. Majuli, great ball over the top and well found. A lovely line from the link. And it's try time here for the Hornets. Confirmed. We don't have the number 33 on our team sheets. So if you are watching at home and you happen to know who that is for the Hills Hornets, by all means, leave us a comment in the live feed and we can add that to our team sheet here. So Orange, get used to the ball here. Toward the line, they come again. The little flick pass pops out from Blimka. Oh, it's beautiful play. They set it up right on the spot. We haven't seen too many flick passes produce a result so far this tournament, but that one is a ripper. Blimka came to the line, little darting step, and then the flick pass. Try time there for Ryan Banks. 3-1. We've had four tries in as many minutes. An action-packed grand final here as Curl gets the dancing feet moving on the spot. But no result there. Changeover instead. 
Forward they drive now. Wilson turns it back on the inside. Bit of movement here for Powder. Wilson. Off once more now. For Orange, holding it through the centre of the field. Oh, heavy touch there. Not forceful contact, though. And they're turned back. And a change over here. So the driving, rucking set for the Hornets as they look to work their way up the field now. Thank you very much there to Mason Robertson, who's let us know that number 33 is, in fact, Mo Lester. No, in fact, that's not the case. That's not good. Not good at all. Apologies for that one. I've broken the two names in between. That is a try there for the Hills Hornets. 3-2 on the scoreboard. So a tight affair so far in this grand final. Quick hands as well as they send them down the sideline here. Jackson Hill nearly through. Now play the ball back. Carpenter. Short ball here. Blimka once more with the flick pass. Well, that's two from two for Blimka. Threatened to go out wide. Popped it back towards the middle. Beautiful deception about the flick. And he's a man that's got that skill set down pack. Four tries to two. Two-handed touch coming in there as Curl drives forward. Short pass here through the middle for the Hornets. So they spread it wider still. Out to the link position, wrapping around is Curl. Curl attacking the line, diving from distance. I've just got the touch in time. It's a confirmation on the name for the number 33 here for the Hornets. It's Tim Reagan. Picking up one of the Hornets tries so far. Short ball as the Hornets are on the back foot here with Orange pressing hard and up over the halfway line. Good rucking set so far as Schultz comes into the attack here. Last play now for the Thunder. Weaving, spopping. And uh, knocked down from the Hornets there. Aspen restarts things, supplies the ball. Now that one could go either way here. There was definitely a man in the ruck. And yes, Aspen, maybe a little bit of gamesmanship from him. Really exaggerating the point. Trying to get that pass off. Still with the Hornets here. They have work to do, though. After eight minutes, they lead the Orange Thunder four tries to two. Now slow things down here. An option to wrap back around. Driving forward now. Here comes Curl once more. Curl at pace. Gets in behind them, looking for a support player. Eventually, they'll arrive on the spot. Now, there was pressure in defense, but not enough. They've gone in, beautifully worked from Matt Curl. Showed some great patience once he got into the end zone. Four tries to three, a nice tight grand final, what we want to see here. So Orange restart things, Aspen back out there. Claims the touch, gets it there on Kenorden. Blimka, they have to be watchful of him and that flick pass once more. He's already produced a result twice now. Nine minutes gone, 21 still to play. Got to ground very quickly. That could have gone either way. In the end, a great touch, though, from the Hornets. It's the last play now, and they won't have a strike dump to work with. Blimka plays it off. 
Offering players back on the inside and simply heading towards the sideline. Happy to finish with the ball as far away from the Hornets sub box as possible. That was well fought, intercepted anyway. So that'll be a zero play here for Carpenter, who's already gone in twice. And the touch comes there, Cornorton. Now Chase King. Ryan. Slows to a walk. Trying to engage the defenders. Now they'll look to step up the tempo. Ryan, what a ball that is. Oh, it's a massive pass. Left to right, a good 25 metres on it. And Dylan Ryan produces when they needed it the most. Great ball from Ryan. And finished with a plum out on that far side of the field. Five tries to three on the Port Macquarie Regional Stadium scoreboard. Restarted here from the Hills Hornets. Gobran will slow it down now. Numbers either side of the play the ball. Majuli caught just on that seven meter mark. Oh, Fahim went for the flick pass. Not quite the same result as what Blimka has produced so far. And a chance for Orange to march upfield once more. 11 minutes gone in this one. Still plenty of time to play. Orange raced out to a 2-0 lead before the Hornets got themselves on the board. Since then, it's been a pretty even tussle. Blimka is the danger man so far for Orange. Here he is with the zero. This time decides to go long once more looking for Carpenter. Would love a hat-trick in the grand final. Touch made there from Lawson. A couple of players jamming in on Fahim as well. They can ill afford to let him get some free space. He's very dangerous for the Hornets. Great little piece of recycling there from the Hills side as they keep promoting the ball upfield. Curl, the architect for the Hillshire side. Curl suggesting he never got back the seven. Not happy about it either. Is Matty Curl. And that back chat is going to cost him an extra 10 metres or so in favour of the Orange Thunder. We're now caught just 10 shy of the halfway line. Connaughton rolls it here for Ryan. Has already produced a stellar pass for the last try that Orange recorded up towards that 7 metre mark. Here comes Ryan again. This time he goes to the link position. Aspen didn't get there in time. A beautiful line run there from the Thunder. And the Hornets are thunderstruck. 6-3 on the Port Macquarie Regional Stadium scoreboard. Lovely pass from Dylan Ryan once more. Not much they could have done about it, in all honesty. So the Hornets now with a chance to strike back themselves, though. Majuli forced back here. Last play, Aspen with Fahim wrapping around, trying to open up some sort of a passage out wide. Nothing forthcoming for them, though. Quick hands. Oh, pressure on the run there of Connaughton. Carpenter out of acting half, and now they provide for Lawson, who picks up good yardage on that particular play. Wilson back towards the middle with Schultz. A few extra metres there from Powder. Schultz again. Still a couple of plays here. So both sides have been more than happy to enact a lot more patience than we're perhaps used to seeing from the men's 20s division. 
Great ball here from Schultz. Carpenter once more. How about that for a finish? He got the legs all the way up above the head. But they've done enough according to the referees. Good touch coming across from Balin Mitchell. There's only a young lad in this side. And that could have been a very important try stopper. Margin of four is a very tough one to rein back in. That does give them just a little bit of a chance here. Flat pass there from Gobrin. Now they come at pace. What a ball over the top. That is a lovely sinker pass. Matt Curl jumped up above them, floated a ball into the arms. I believe that might be Nick Charwood out there. In fact, Tim Reagan it is in the 33. Try time for Hills. And that's turned out to be a massive play in the previous set from Balin Mitchell. Consider that essentially a two-point turnaround. 6-4. Margin reduced here from the Hills boys. They're not out of this one yet. Blimka. Blimka once more. Firing it short. Touch came in. And that will be the changeover. Curl wants to get on with things very quickly here. And now he does so. Curl off the left foot. Quick play the ball for Charwood. Fahim. Fahim threatening to link back up through the middle. Here comes Curl now into enemy territory as Aspen drives forward. Round about 25 away from the try line. Further four they come now. Aspen, oh, pressure in there. Well done. A good read from Canorden. Lowe makes the touch. Followed up there by Patterson. Oh, great little wraparound play. Very clever stuff. Once more from Blimka. He's got all the tricks in the bag. Through the middle they work it now. Chase King drops it off. Ryan is out there once more. Stepping into the path was Patterson. Ball played at, so they'll get another set in close proximity to the try line. Ryan plays it. Touch is made there from Patterson. Ryan once more threatens to go very, very long, and the touch is made as we're now joined in commentary by none other than the CEO of New South Wales Touch Football, Dean Russell. A very good afternoon. Good afternoon, James. Pretty cracking game, isn't it? So far, so very good from both sides. They've thrown just about everything except for the kitchen sink at one another. Yeah, I didn't see the Orange semi-final, but I certainly saw the Hills, uh, Northern Beaches semi-final, and it was, a, like a, again, a cracking game, a really fast-paced game. So I'm just wondering whether that's taken a little bit of the sting out of the Hills Hornets, no pun intended. But uh, the Orange team, they are playing extremely good touch and deserve their lead at this stage. It was a very fiery affair as well, that semi-final between the Renegades and the Hornets. And in this one, Dean, you'd be very happy to know. A couple of flick passes that have resulted directly in tries from Blimka. Yes, uh, he has been known to uh, throw them on occasion. And uh, not very often have I seen them go to ground, to be honest. He's a real exponent. Of that particular skill set as the Orange Thunder look to work it away from their own end. And they're not going to do it on this occasion. Poor roll ball. Yeah, they got their whole set mixed up there. Players looking to get off the field. Instead of just doing their hard work and getting up the field to make the substitutions easy, uh, took the, uh, the easy option out and just went straight to the sub box and left the, the acting half isolated. That could oh. Always threatening is Matt Curl and he cut out Vorden there with an opportunity for the link in the form of Charwood. But they read it nicely there, Orange. Here comes Curl once more, threatening over the top. He goes straight into the hands, though, of Carpenter. So picked it off, and that'll be a zero tackle, or touch, as we should say. Back good, towards the middle. Good defence there from Orange. The wing put himself in the channel, made the pass hard, and just took the easy intercept in the end of the day. So forward they march once more. And that will be a little turnover here. This is where coaches start to get a bit nervous. You've got a two-touchdown lead, and the last two sets you've made simple errors not to complete your sets and not to give the ball back to the opposition on their own line. So you're inviting trouble. Aspen towards the middle now with Gobran. Dancing around. 
Almost like a kangaroo with the amount of jumps there. Still a few plays left in this set too. They'll slow things down once more with Majali. Now they look to launch the strike rate. Aspen is out there. Great read once more from Carpenter. Jamming in from the wing. I don't think he was the man who was off. Might have actually been Jackson Hill in the 37. Yeah, I think they called the link out, out there, but really good defensive play from the wing again. Could have easily resulted in the touchdown if he doesn't get his timing right. So 6-4 on the Port Macquarie Regional Stadium scoreboard on Budgie Smuggler Finals Day. First of five grand finals right here in the men's 20s. Oh, dancing around and finding Aspen. Has he evaded the touch? No, once more a great read from Carpenter. Yeah, if I were a Carpenter... I would have knocked that nail in myself. Dean Russell, I picked you at the silly time of the day for you, haven't I? Here we go with Aspen. <laughs> this time it works. Once more, a great ball here from Matt Curl, who went deep into the line and fired it late. And a massive hole opened up for the link. Yeah, like too many times they've come this side of the field, uh, putting pressure on the Orange defence a lot there. They've made a couple of really good scrambling saves, but just... Once too many tried to go to the well and uh, they found out, they got found out that time. But again, it came down to not completing their sets and getting the ball back down the field. So Blimka once more trying something pretty exceptional there with a cutout pass directly from the restart. Blimka, great footwork. Now he draws and passes. Good read though in defence from Charwood. Jammed in from the link position. Still on here though for Orange. They drop it down. Seven metres away, Blimka goes from distance. I think they've got him covered, though. They're certainly claiming it. No, Blimka's got the try himself. So he's set up two. Now he scores one. Yeah, the, the referee there was indicating that the outside defender uh, made the touch but was offside, and that's why she played through. He's, uh, and Blimka is a very talented player, especially in attack. I watched him play at the NTLs for the Southern Suns in the regional event, and uh, every time he's on the field, they either scored or went close to scoring. Very, very dangerous player for this Orange Thunder side. And the Hornets are going to have to be watchful because he is causing plenty of problems at the moment. Back to the middle they come now. Curl, heavy touch on him. Not forceful contact, though. Once more, he fires it long. It's way too big, though. Yeah, that time, just trying that play too early. They hadn't really overworked the defenders. Got them caught out of position. And you really need to reposition the defensive line rather than just throw those long bombs. Ryan comes charging into the defensive line there. Oh, they've worked it down the short side. Now the referee has unfortunately got in the way of what could have been a spectacular short side raid. Yeah, and there was a penalty also there. 33 from Hills, uh, whose number doesn't appear on there. Tim Regan, apparently. So uh, he got in the way of the subs coming on and caused a collision, and that's what the penalty was for. So Blimka back out there. The danger man is afoot once more. Great footwork here, though, from Orange. They go for the strike down. Blimka threatening. Pops it back on the inside. Fahim, good piece of cover there from the middle. Yeah, lucky to get away with that. He, he incorrectly rolled the ball. He just put it in front of him and stepped away. He didn't step over it. And we'll see what he does there. Oh, well, he's done so again, again here, yeah. Blimka. This time he goes wide. Carpenter has, however, got his hat trick. Well, that one's a little bit of a controversial one because he's done the same thing there, Dean Russell, but similarly, doing the same thing again, it's Blimka Brilliance. Yeah, but it's, it, it's the way he sequenced that. He, he set up the last couple of plays to move the Hills defensive line around and make sure that when he got to that third play, he actually had the option. He could have gone to the link or the winger there to, to score because they actually positioned the Hills winger in no man's land. So 8-5 with time beginning to run out here. The clock starts to become a factor. Six and a half to go. And the Hornets need to strike here. They definitely need to be next to score. Aspen wrapping back around. Well read. Charwood could go absolutely nowhere on that play. Last now, and they don't get the strike dump to work with. Oh, oh. Curl has come up with an absolute dog's breakfast. Yeah, lazy. And he's still on the ground now. Laziness there, unfortunately. And that's where I think that fatigue might be coming in. Uh, in the way that they just making silly errors that they weren't making in their semi-final. Um, like I said, really hard game against the Northern Beaches. Fast-paced, action-packed, physical game as well. Might be taking its toll late in this game. Last play now. Great ball supplied. Oh, Schultz is on the spot. But how about the pass 
from Jackson Hill, who stepped up on one leg like a flamingo and fired it. Yeah, great ball. Great read back inside, too. Again, they just set that play up, manoeuvring the defenders around. Swept around to the right-hand side. Up on that one foot is, like you said, like a flamingo. And then just fires back across the ruck. Here, and there he goes again. Look at that. Fires back across the ruck. Really good hole running there. They might have this one in the bag. 5.20 to go. Well, they have to score right here and now if the Hornets are any chance of pulling this one out of the fire. But Orange are most certainly in the box seat. Fahim off the left foot, opening up the play just a little bit. Somewhat disorganised, though. Curl's got to steer the ship here. And now he pops in at acting half. Here he is, Curl. Oh, great ball. The man delivers when he was required. Mikkel Wraith goes in for the try. And it's all good. So they do strike back here, the Hills Hornets. 9-6. There is enough time here, Dean Russell. Yeah, Curl and for him really set that up well. And not just with their body movement, but their head movement. They threw the defence all looking to their left to be with the way that they shifted their eyes and then all of a sudden hit back to their left-hand side. Long ball out. And here goes Blinker again. He set them up again. Well, every time he touches it, he's creating problems in that Hornets defensive line. The uh, chained armour is now looking to have quite a few chinks in it. Blimker off the left foot. Oh, and the flick pass. It's superb from Blimker. Nearly produces a result. Diving at the line. Flick it up and see how we go. Man has got all the skills he can possibly ask for. And they look a little bit worried whenever he touches it. That's good pressure, though, from Fahim, jamming in from the link position. He might get a gig with the Harlem Globetrotters, which flick passes like that. Well, there you go, Dean Russell. That's an idea for commercialization of the touch <laughs> footy brand. Blimka, oh, the no-look pass this time. So we've seen flick passes, diving flicks, and now a no-look pass. But they managed to stop them here, the Hills Hornets, and they needed to. 9-6. Three minutes and 50 seconds to go. A try here would mean we're in for a grandstand finish. Fahim, quick hands, Charwood. And do they have another set to play with? They certainly do. Yeah, piggyback there. Blimka, a very rare error from him there. The no-look pass, all he had to do, if he had, had eyes up footy, he had an easy cutout ball to the wing because the Hills defence had already crashed in onto the link. And uh, so sometimes it's good to have eyes up footy. And they'll be looking to potentially bring that into the fold here. Set on the Orange Thunder line. Eight away as Curl once more goes for an attacking raid. He's forced back from Schultz and they won't get the strike down. That could be crucial here for the Hornets. Fahim fires it wide for Aspen. Aspen nowhere to go. Curl wraps around and quite simply they succumb to the pressure in defence there from Thunder. Three to go. That's roughly about six sets to play here. Uh, and they're three behind on the board. They really need to try and force a turnover and get good field position so they can have multiple shots at the line, the Hills. I don't think it's going to happen based on this set here from Carpenter now hopping in at acting half. They've marched up field with relative ease. Now it's with King. King is caught there from Vorton. Back to the middle they come, slowing it down. Smart play here from Orange. So they drop it on the seven metre mark. Ryan, oh, great footwork. Now opens it up. Big, massive loping pass there, but they do get the touch just in time. Well done from Mikkel Wraith. Yep, so if you're the Hills coach here, you're really encouraging your team to drive. Get a couple of, here's a piggyback. Get a couple of really good drives, then throw the ball around, try and manoeuvre the defence out. If you're the orange coach, you want a good defensive set here, and then it's a must to hold the ball for six and get as much territory downfield as possible. The clock is still a very big concern here for the Hornets, even with a try. Right here and now, it might not be enough for them. Patterson slowing it down. He can ill afford to do that. They've just got to go pretty much every play. They realise that now. The touch comes in, and they'll get another set, but that's not what they need. They just need the try. Forget the extra plays. Yeah, that's, that's actually not a bad result for Hills. They're under pressure there. They, they get the penalty against them, allows them to reset. Oh, and that's going to be it, though, Dean Russell. That one's gone to ground. A minute and a half on the clock. The margin is three, although it's been touched in flight. And that's probably the best piece of sportsmanship I've seen here this weekend. They're in the final of the Men's 20 State Cup, and Oliver Cunningham, uh, Connington has gone to the referee and said, no, sir, I touched that, and the referee wasn't going to give six to go. Well, it's a game built on honesty, of course. If you make the touch, you say you have indeed got it. And if you don't, hands go away as Mikkel Rafe tries to get the one to ground very quickly. And yes, confirmed. So margin reduced, but they can easily 
work this one out with the clock now. I think Orange have got it in the bag here. Yeah, they do. They, just, you, you wouldn't want to lose it from here. That'd be a real coach killer. Um, but Orange, they just need to be smart here. Six touches, wind the clock down. Uh, there's not enough time in my mind on the clock for Hills unless they take an intercept twice off the both tap-offs. But uh, not enough time on the clock. They should just, be very unlucky. Well, just have to be smart. Orange just have to be smart. And this is smart. They're just slowing it down. And, well, I've come and this curse. Is that what you call it? That's very smart, Dean. As is the uh, commentator's curse. Fahim has to get it away quickly. Now it's a foot race for the corner. They pull up on the run. Ten seconds to go. Orange will claim this one. But they're looking to finish in a flash here. The Hills Hornets back through the middle now with Gobrin. Last play. Here they come. Curl with the flick pass. They pop it over the top. Curl can't escape the touch. And it's a fantastic victory here for the Orange Thunder. Set up by none other than Ben Blimker. What a match from him, Dean Russell. Yeah, outstanding game. Uh, from Ben. He's just got all the tricks in the trade. He's got fantastic ball skills. But it doesn't matter if you've got the ball skills, if you don't have the players outside you working for you, hitting those holes. So it really is a team game, a team effort there from Orange. Um, really, really displayed some great touch footballing skills, but a team effort in the way that they're able to support each other and hit those holes, especially off Blinkner. So thorough performance here from Orange Thunder. They got out to a nice, quick, early lead and were able to hold on to that advantage all the way until full time. Nine tries to seven, the men's 20s champions for the New South Wales State Cup 2022 on Budgie Smuggler Finals Day. And the action continues next. Our second of five consecutive grand finals. It's the men's Open B division with Bankstown taking on the Parramatta Eels in five minutes' time.